I'm so glad you could make it, my dear. Would you like some sugar? Yes, please. <laughs> I must admit, I am surprised that you invited me over. I haven't been socialising much since... since Emil. Yes, such a terrible incident. Yuck. Which leads me to the purpose I wish to talk to you about. As you know, Port Royal is an island. We must therefore import our resources for our citizens to thrive. However, in order to build an establishment on this island, we've been forced to share our privacy with these barbarians we call pirates. Our navy has been excellent in ridding these vermin when necessary. Nevertheless, these creatures have been plundering our ships and hindering us from our resources. Governor Arkwright, pardon my interruption, but I am just wondering, what in the name of the king does this have to do with me? I'm just a simple seamstress. Your husband was a rather notorious pirate captain, was he not? Yes. Then he would know their trace routes and where they were gathered. What was it you were importing again? Supplies, my dear. Supplies. Now, where did you say the pirates were gathered? I'm sorry, Governor, but I cannot betray the location unless you give me good reason to. I swore to my husband and to the court. Court, did you say? Yes, sir. No. I really must leave. I have Mrs. Taylor dropping by to collect her sewing. Good day. Henry! Yes, sir. Please send for Mr. about starting this brethren court at once before we cut ourselves all to pieces. All of you know that the brethren cannot start without all of the parties being accounted for. Where is Rosilla? She's always late. I say we start without her and it's her own fault if she misses this court. Persuasion friendly? Not so much. This cart will now come to water. As you all know, we have been making some small profits off the French ships sailing into Port Royal. Mm. What about? Hope you are all not making pirate plans to destroy my men. What is an admiral doing here? Told you they'll come cut us up. I'm sure there is an explanation as to why an admiral would come enter the sacred brethren court. Or perhaps we should take him as the hostage against his own people, as they do with our kind so frequently. Silence, pirates. I'm not here to interrupt your gathering or take you as prisoners. I'm here to seek your aid. What is in this for us? We will not just unite with the naval officer. Because Governor Arkwright has made plans to destroy all of you. And though you are outlaws and thieves, I will not add to the number of people murdered. How did you come by this information, and how can you prove to us that we can trust you? I came by the governor's letters and notes while I was searching for naval procedure plans in his office. They disturbed me greatly, and I spent a significant amount of time thinking about what my next action should be now I had found out about this ordeal. Miss Ashfield, I believe you know her husband who used to be in this court, met with the governor because he wanted information about the location of this very place. She gave me the routes after the governor met with me to try and convince me to join him in his tactics. I'm with Fancy Pants. Aye! Aye. 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 A 
I take it a few days down here has managed to persuade you. I won't betray my father's friends. Then unfortunately, you may have to be a party in a certain accident. You do know I spoke to your mother. Don't touch my mother! Quiet! Did your father ever mention Davy Jones' locker? Yes. Then you would know, as you are half pirate, if you drowned your sorry soul would end up there. What are you saying? Only that you had best give me the location of the Brethren Court and the pirate routes before the rest of the Ashfield family disappears off the edge. I won't tell you. Well then, I'm very sorry to hear that. I'm going to enjoy this. The decision was united, according to the code. Hang the code! I'm taking the ship! Are ye saying that ye are betraying the code, written down by Morgan and Bartholomew, and laid down in blood? No, no, I'm sure that's not what we, I mean, shame me. I'm taking my own course of action here. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Bad luck, you Doing? I don't know. I just wanted to be included in this discussion, persuasion, argument. Enough! I'm tired of this court making petty decisions. Do you really think this Admiral will not turn on us after he has used us? Long Too late. We're already in Port Ryle. Man, if I had that house, I'd quit pirating forever. If you had that house, you wouldn't be pirating at all. So true. All right, pirates, remember the plan and stick to it. If all goes well, we'll meet back here. Shouldn't there be some guards around? I hate to admit it, but the captain's right. We don't have time for this. Really thought he was going somewhere with that. Apparently that's all. Do you ever take these things seriously? Afterwards. I'm curious to know what the citizens would think if they knew their governor was handing them over for supplies. Huzzah for me! Life like this. Suits me way better. You really are stupid, aren't you? Quiet, all of you. I think I heard something. Oh, the captain's hearing something again. Will you scream like a girl when I stick you through? Let's find out. I'd like the honors, if you don't mind. Brian, I can't let you do that. He's worth a lot of money. Right. Don't come any closer. I'll kill her. I've waited too long for the. Something. You've 
surprisingly good aim for a pirate. If you ever considered to change your ways, I could use your help in the Navy. <laughs> You'd have me in the Navy. You hear that? We'll never hear the end of this. Our time is up. This court may not disperse. As sure as the sun rises, after I am finished with you, you will wish you were never born. Thank you.